Vaccine is approved just yet, but this morning there's at least one that's ready to be distributed. Over the weekend, charter flights began flying the Pfizer vaccine to undisclosed sites. They can't be delivered to doctors, but they can be pre-positioned so they're ready to go if and when the FDA gives the green light. The FAA says it will prioritize vaccine shipments. Tomorrow, a CDC panel is set to meet to talk about who should get the vaccine first. That comes as Governor Camp gets ready to talk about the vaccine, too, here in Georgia today. Our Trayson Bragg has more on that and also a look at the vaccine timeline. Trayson, good morning. Good morning, Gavir. Yeah, the FDA's Vaccine Advisory Committee is scheduled to meet on December 10th to discuss emergency approval of Pfizer's vaccine. Now, here in Georgia today, Governor Brian Kemp is going to meet in a roundtable discussion to discuss the state's next step with some of those who take care of our most vulnerable population. It's the call so many in the nursing home community have been waiting for. It's also a call that shows we are inching closer to the reality of a COVID-19 vaccine. Today, Governor Kemp will meet in a roundtable discussion with administrators from nursing homes throughout the state of Georgia. In that roundtable discussion, the governor will provide an update on the state's battle against COVID-19. He will also share details on the state's plan for vaccine distribution. Now, if that vaccine, if Pfizer's vaccine is actually approved by the FDA, some experts say we could see enough doses to get the, get the vaccine to about 20 million people before the end of the year. Coming up at 5.30, I'll tell you more about the governor's roundtable discussion today. Reporting live at the state capitol, I'm Tracy Bragg, CBS 46 News.